Batman is stuck on Fortnite Island. Can he escape the loop? This is the Comic Story in Channel, where I take some of your favorite trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read them dramatically back to you. All alterations of the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. The Batman Fortnite crossover storyline is giving a little bit of lore to Batman and to Fortnite and we are currently on issue 3. Let me give you a quick catch up as to how we got here. Batman discovered a rift in Gotham City and jumped through it, trying to figure out what it was. He landed on Fortnite's island, where he got stuck in the loop. He's unable to speak, and every 22 minutes, the entire timeline is reset and he doesn't remember anything. He teamed up with Catwoman, and they figured out that one of them has to win, that there needs to be a single survivor, and they chose it to be Catwoman, leaving Batman by himself on this island. The individuals who are monitoring what's going on on the island have asked for help in sending in someone that can possibly stop Batman. And that brings us to today, in which we see this individual, Snake Eyes, fighting against Batman as the offices of Fortnite are sending memos back and forth about the situation. Enjoy the amazing scenes as we recap each of these emails. Inter-office memo from Loop Observation to PsyOps. Subject, I'm worried about the Batman. Since Asset Catwoman escaped the loop, Asset Batman has displayed a single mind and determination to follow her, bordering on mania. Needless to say, he does not remember Catwoman. His memory, like all other assets, is lost when the storm resets with the conclusion of each loop. Granted, this subject has left himself numerous notes to remind him of the past events. But the obsessive manner in which he constantly improves himself in order to dispatch opponents is quickly suggesting far more than abstract, dispassionate following of a plan it feels personal. While I realize it's impossible to wipe a subject's emotional memory as decisively as their conscious memory, perhaps your department can adjust the settings. I do realize that asset Batman is a special case, and you'll be reluctant to do anything that might dull his edge or otherwise interfere with our agenda for him. However, the degree to which he keeps improving is becoming alarming. He has nearly escaped in his last three attempts. My department's ability to slow him down is rapidly diminishing. If you can't assist in the area of memory manipulation, please join me in urging acquisitions to approve my recommendation to them in an expedited manner. Enter office memo from loop observation to acquisitions. Thank you. I'm ready to express my appreciation for moving so fast. As I mentioned in my last memo, the situation with the asset Batman is quickly becoming untenable, but I think your quick action has righted the ship. I can admit that I've harbored some doubts that this would work. Asset Batman had knocked out everyone and everything that we had thrown at him. Even with those unique and unparalleled skill sets, I was initially afraid that that might be the case here as well. But the results are speaking for themselves. Early indications are that we're getting exactly what we need from Asset Snake Eyes. These two are perfectly matched. Both use a staggering mix of fighting styles that I have never seen before and these particular combinations. Both are relentless, skilled, and calm in the face of combat, and I'll say it, brilliant! If they were given time, these two would definitely figure everything out. Luckily, every 22 minutes in the storm wipes the slate clean and they start all over again, battling each other, neither remembering the other. Enter office memo. Loop observation to archives. Has this ever happened? Something is occurring in relation to the encounters between Asset to Batman and Asset to Snake Eyes, and I've never witnessed it before. You've seen the unofficial highlight reels that I've been sending, just for entertainment. Sometimes these two fight for the entire length of the loop, doing things that would exhaust assets from most any other origin point, including their own. I know we're watching something special and you know it, but something interesting is happening. The other assets, they've all stopped fighting. They are watching Batman versus Snake Eyes. Inter-office memo, loop observation to PsyOps, emotional retention. As we discussed, while the assets' memories are wiped at the end of each loop, we know that emotions carry over. I'm wondering, is respect an emotion? Could it stick? This is not my area of expertise, please advise. Inter-office memo, loop observation to acquisitions, concerns. The more I watch assets Batman and Snake Eyes, the more I worry. I hope I'm just being paranoid. Frankly, I'm hoping you'll tell me as much. We're aware that assets often band together for the sake of convenience, but these alliances are ethereal. 
When it comes to the last man standing at the end of the loop, they know that there can only be one, and they have no reason to care what happens to the others. Which is why I want to confirm with you that there's never been an example of a being from different origin points uniting in a significant duration. Message deleted. Enter office memo. Loop observation. To archives. Hand signals, urgent. I'm sending you still shots of hand signals that the two assets, Batman and Snake Eyes, are making to each other. I understand sign languages from several source worlds, but not this one. Can you translate? Message deleted. Enter office memo. Loop observation, all senior partners. Subject, assets, Batman and Snake Eyes, summary evaluation. The tactic of pitting assets, Snake Eyes against asset, Batman was successful, relatively speaking, despite buying us less time than expected. However, with unpredictable beings like this, it's probably safe to say that the unexpected is exactly what we should have expected. Enter office memo, loop observation to extra loop observation. Be advised. Asset Batman is inbound. You are welcome to contact me with questions and concerns. One general recommendation, if anything strikes you as noteworthy, don't hesitate to share it with the rest of us immediately. Batman and Snake Eyes have concluded their battle, and they have figured out how to communicate. And with a final salute, Snake Eyes says goodbye to Batman as he finally escapes the loop. He finally escapes Fortnite, but as he finds himself at the beginning of the next loop, he hears something that he isn't supposed to hear. A voice. He looks back to see a masked man holding a gun to a woman's head and the man tells him, no sudden movements. However, Batman doesn't fully realize just who this man is yet, because it's Deathstroke who has Catwoman captive. And that is issue three of the Batman Fortnite crossover. I really love the way they handled this. Just letting Batman and Snake Eyes duke it out while we got to see the inter-office personnel talking back and forth. It just added a fun layer to this. But what did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help us with the YouTube algorithm, leave us a comment down below or you can simply just leave a smiley face. That will work too. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I know these videos are short and I want to keep them short for you. So I'll see you next time with the next Batman Fortnite crossover. See ya.